Farm boy, I'm excited for today, are you? Oh, I'm very excited, man. Dude, I cannot wait for this. So we are gonna be helping out a neighbor. So he's in need, he's basically bedridden. Uh, he's pretty sick. Well, Henry here, he's got a lot of acres. He has about 1,200 acres of corn, and I think we can do it in one day. Uh -oh. Really? Yeah. Did you see how many harvesters? That's just half last, of them. That, yeah, I know. And last night, man, it was quite insane. I didn't think the combine would end. Yeah, that, it was crazy last night. It looked like a giant Christmas tree with all the combines coming from different roads and everything. If you could just imagine it, it's just like flashy light city. All these combines conversing in one area. You got to fill up with gas. So uh, I guess I was talking to some of the neighbors here getting coffee and they said this is the most harvesters they have ever seen in one area. They said Channel 5, the local news is down there. You saw the police department down there. This is going to be crazy. But hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Look behind you. Recognize that? Ooh, that is the piece old of Ford. That wasn't a piece of junk. He was a good old Ford. I got wrecked by a monster truck. That was pretty cool. I thought it deflected it. We still have a harvester and a grain cart to get there. We even uh, helped people move last night. Wow, this thing is crazy how many people are here. It is late in the harvest season, really late in the harvest season. Uh, we just found out that this guy was uh, bedridden. We kind of noticed that all his corn was still in the field. So uh, neighbor called a neighbor, called a neighbor, and a neighbor. And then all of a sudden we got notified. And of course we jumped at it into, I think it'd be pretty fun. Like we could, uh, literally harvest with multiple harvesters hopefully we get it like right along grain hey, carts hey, hey, hold up, hold up. look at this i'm glad i don't have your bank account look at that 117 dollars for gas diesel sorry diesel oh man yeah diesel prices over here it's crazy i thought th i thought they were supposed to go down funny because out there they say like 289 now and it says three three one nine nine here huh course we got a honk at grant while we go by i'm pretty sure is grant there i didn't uh, see him yeah I, I think he's out on a hunting trip but i think he i don't know he just did i guess he didn't want to help out a neighbor i guess no i think he's out on a hunting trip i guess oh yeah he, he's probably busy but grant would definitely be there uh oh wow i did not know that what did this combine come from all right, so we've got some talking news. This is the neighbor's combine, but I've got so next next week my stuff that 4755 and the 8820 are going to auction. Really, my 4755? Technically mine, but I mean I I love the tractor, man. But it just I just can't afford to have. I want a newer tractor. I need a newer tractor for new my new planters and stuff like that. I want to get. Well, we're gonna have to talk later. I don't think I can let that 4755 leave the farm. I figured you'd say that. I figured you'd say that. Long story short, Case actually uh, is letting us demo a tractor so I can pull the grain cart. It's down, I think it's in the shed, right? I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a AFS uh, Steiger 420 road track. Oh, it, the new ones? Yeah, you want to see it? Let's go down here. This thing is sweet. I mean, I love the engine compartment. It's so clean. Uh, it's sad because I don't think I can afford this thing, but uh, I'm gonna use it for helping out Henry. I think this thing will pull my new grain cart like a champ. Uh, it is full of options in here. You gotta see. Got all the screens in here. You got precision planting, precision everything. It is topped out beyond belief. Really? Yep. Check it out. This what is this what is this what replaced your Kinsey? Yep. This is, I kind of bought it from a friend, so uh, I don't know. I just love the looks of this old thing, so uh, I should call it old, but it's only a season old, two seasons old, J&M. All right, farm All right. boy, it's a convoy. Don't, that? don't, don't forget about your opportunity here to wake up Grant, even though he's not there. Beep, 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 my little tiny beep, beep, horn, yeah. Oh man, this sounds like a Volkswagen. A mad driver in a Volkswagen. I know. Man, yeah. this is the first time I've really had much experience with a 12 hour head, man. Yeah, I'm 
I probably should have been in front of you, and I'm surprised you didn't take this mailbox out right there. What? Yeah, I probably, you're probably right. I probably got to move over to the signs and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, well. I mean, the, all the cops are up there at the actual uh, harvest, at the his biggest field there. I can't yeah, believe... I, I think this will be a record for me. Record for one operation. So we're going to try to harvest 1,200 acres in one day. I think the logistics of the tr trucks is going to be the biggest issue. Yeah, there's not very much trucks. But we got, what, a couple trucks down there? We also got... Oh, ooh, you're taking that way, huh? Devia, don't hit that cop now. Oh, well, looks like you might have tapped his, uh, his door there. Nah. Look like how funny he's in there, anyways. Yeah, he, he must be uh, taking an afternoon nap. I'm not as sure what he's doing. Hey, hey, Steve, you can you can pass this one. I'll let you go ahead for this one. All right, now that we're almost here. Yeah. You know what I'm most looking forward to? What's that, man? All the wives are getting together, and they're gonna make a huge oh. field lunch out here. I did not know they were doing that. That is by far, I mean, that's worth all the hours and the use we're putting on all this gear alone. That that, why, that may be the, be the reason my wife got a whole, a whole bunch of macaroni salad ingredients together. I love her macaroni salad, man. It's so sweet and delicious. It's got sweet peppers in it. Oh, man. You, it's delicious, man. Well, now, now you're getting me hungry, and it's just in the morning. Ooh, I'm going to try treacherous ditch. Ooh. Form boy, this this ditch yeah. is this ditch is major. You might want to rethink it. Oh yeah, this is not my combine either. Well, okay. Uh, yep. I think that's our gleaner right there. Ooh, so this is just uh, less than half of the actual crew here. So we have this field. We have a uh, what? Five or so fields we have to do. Six fields. A lot of them yeah, are huge. Yeah, these are the, are the big ones, and I think there's quite, quite a few down the bottoms that really, really need, uh, they're really, they're kind of smaller, kind of in the wooded area. Yep. Probably oh, me a little muddy. All right, I think we're going to have a big meeting, and then it's going to be all balls to the wall harvesting. So, uh, I'm not for sure. I think it'd be awesome just driving a grain cart trying to keep up with this many combines because uh Man, I think I kinda wanna drop some of these new S series combines too. And these Ooh. new case cases too. I saw a few X nines down there. I think John Deere brought some uh off their lot, these farmers around here. They're, these yeah, high corn prices obviously they, they've been buying. Buying spree. Well, you know what? I'm doing some tack write off stuff for that auction, man. That's what my plans are. I All right. a pretty good year. Yeah, it's definitely, you gotta hide some uh, money this year. Farm boy, you un Just you're unloading the wrong area. You you can't unload with the tarp, you know that. Tarp's boy. open? Yeah, you're not supposed to unload on the tarp side. Ah, uh, that's, actually you can pretty much, with the new harvesters, you can really see over the tarp side wow, of a grain oh, cart. I mean, of course you can. All right, man, look, all these farmers are going all over the place here. So we have, I think I've counted 10 harvesters running. Uh, with, oh, really? Yeah, at least eight grain carts or close to. This big berth right over here is giant. Did you see how big this thing is? That grain cart's huge. It's like two trucks sitting there or a truck two and a half trucks 2600 bushels hmm that is huge she said oh boy we are looking at looking for farm boy he's not answering his radio hmm. where is he at it's, oh there he is guess he did cut a new path right here didn't notice Look at all these farmers in the field. Uh, uh oh. 
think he might be about full. Don't know what he's doing here. Yeah, I'm having some troubles. There you go, farm boy. Having a little trouble counting your rolls there? No, uh, yeah, uh, uh, no comment. No comment. It's okay. It's it was kind of it's kind of deceiving because it's kind of at an angle, you know. That's, I mean, that's the only thing I could say. Dude, that thing is chewing corn up. What? How fast is that thing going? Oh, I think I'm going six. Man, it seems like you're going about eight. Cause this is, a, to be honest with you, uh, kind of a sneak peek. This might be what I'm looking for. I, don't, I, I think there's a nice one now at the auction I'm taking stuff to, so. Oh. That thing, uh, it's definitely good on dry corn, that's for sure. But they're also down there. Uh, what would you think of an S5, an S560 or 70? I don't even know all the numbers I make of those. I never really heard of much of the S550s. Oh, isn't that a smaller harvester? I I I, don't, I haven't seen many. Do they have many of them? Yeah, they're they're kind of smaller, but like, I think I think it's about the size of this one. All right, I'm gonna unload you. Try to yeah. some of you it means you really short rows. Yeah, I mean I'm trying to get my GPS set up in this thing. It's kind of a little bit different than what I'm used to. Yeah, a little bit of troubles with the speed there. You know, I think I might oh, go take another oh, sip. Oh, 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 almost drove in the ditch. Paying attention to you. Oh, wow. Hey, drive with me over here, man. All right. I'm going to take some of these in rows. Probably good for rookies that drive in the ditch like me. Almost drove this brand new Steiger right in the ditch. Man, I've been a rookie move right there. I don't claim to be an expert. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the treacherous uh, drive up this, so I can go on the highway, so go over the overpass. Well, there is a lot of grain carts over here. I guess they probably don't need me. Where's the gleaner at? I haven't seen it in a while. I don't it's even know where that guy is. It's on the other. Is Jeremy driving it? Who's driving that thing today? Uh, Timmy's driving that one. It's a nice day for harvesting, I will say that, too. Ooh, wow, this harvester is impressive. There is a 9240 here with duels on the back. has a John Deere 16-row head on it. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, and it has a grain extension. Oh, my goodness. I, I'm a little jelly. I got to drive that thing one of these times. Whew. Wow, oh, that... Man, I'm, I'm, I, I, I talked to... I talked to... Who, who owns that one? I don't know, but that thing has a giant, a giant auger on it too. I think that's Steven, isn't it? It probably is. I don't, I, I don't know, but that thing can chew corn. So I think last year he had a, he had a John Deere combine. I, I just kind of amazed. I didn't think he would have had a case, but when he rolled in here, I was like, whoa, that's different. No, a lot of my buddies actually they they they'll farm with uh, John Deere quit tractors and they'll have a case harvester. Uh, here's another 9240 with uh, tracks and it looks like it has a folding corn head on it. What the heck? Did you see see this? Uh, somebody definitely likes pink. Did you notice this? I saw that. I saw that. Little pinky truck. Uh, I guess you know some truckers come here too. That must be a female driver, or I guess it could be. Oh, oh I'm gonna make this treacherous journey through the ditch with a full grain cart. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna. The trucks over here are full. I think. So, uh, farm boy, they told me to get into the big grain cart to hopefully keep up with some of these. Uh, oh, oh, oh! This is gonna make this ditch. Oh. This is the one huge Steiger here. Alright, I think I'm going to unload Farm Boy here. He must be playing on his phone or something like that. Wait for somebody. Oh, okay. Sure. I see that scale works on there. Oh, does it? 
Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to check this out. Oh wow! Look at that thing. I think uh, some of the grain cart drivers are taking a little bit while uh, getting up this morning. I know. I know. That's why they told me to get in this big Burfa. Well, at least we'll unload two and a half trucks. We need to start getting these trucks to the elevator. Oh wow, this Steiger pulls this grain cart with ease. I already have about, what, three loads offloaded in it, so third full. I think I'm gonna go try uh, your harvester out, man. I, I really wanted to try out that, that, that another one of those S series. Oh yeah, I, I haven't offloaded one. Is there one around here? I'm off, gonna offload I think this. Glenn. Uh, I think Glenn's up there. X9, I don't even know who this is. He's waving at me like he knows who I am, though. Oh my goodness, this thing, this auger's so long on this X9. Long, long like me. Uh, 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 <laughs> nah. <laughs> It's in the jeans, man. Too bad. Guess I never hear that from what she said. What are you driving? Oh, I'm driving the freaking S670 here. Oh, all right. It's almost harder to drive grain cart when you're so far away from the harvester than it is when you're close. Because you can't really use it as the, the whole, uh, the head as a reference point. Ooh, this uh, case combine here, it's doing the four rows of shame. <laughs> Ooh, wow, you really feel the weight on the back of this grain cart. Ooh, oh, I'm really? Yeah, I'm starting to get a little full. You can definitely can't stop quick, that's for sure. What are you doing turning around? I was catching you. Oh, uh, man, I, I, gotta, I gotta empty out, man. All right, I guess. I wonder if we can get two at the same time. I'm gonna get behind Glenn here and see what happens. All right. Okay. Can we get both of us? Are we big enough? That's what she said. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. You. That definitely has a smaller spout on it. I don't know. Are we getting both? Is it that? No. Oh. We don't have no more gap in there. Definitely don't, no, I don't think we do, man. turn on your uh, straw choppers when you're that close. You might, uh, <laughs> metal on metal. I'm empty, man. Alright, I'll back up a little bit. I'm gonna go find where I left off. It's amazing. I'm gonna unload both of you, and I'm still not gonna be on full. That's a hard turn to make there. <laughs> Woo, yep gotta slow down when you take the corners with this big Bertha. Oh man. Jesus, fool. I just un put down this auger. Whew, this thing is giant. What is that, like a 16 inch auger? At I least. think this case is definitely gonna top me off because uh, I don't have much room. At least the scale says it. I don't have much room. Uh -huh. It says it's feeling pretty good, man. Oh, 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 man. Got a little lean going here. Oh, oh, boy. She's full. Oh, my. I can see her from here, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, this thing is screaming. I am not crazy about these seats in this uh, Steiger, though. Not crazy whatsoever. A little bit too green for my taste. Yep, yeah, we got harvesters. It's hard dealing with the logistics when you got this many... Uh, Harvesters grain carts. We have grain carts that operators that aren't here yet And I gotta make sure yeah, I, I don't we, hit a high line We pretty much knocked out this whole field. Yeah, I think we are over halfway at least You should be timing it, but I think I'm going to uh, unload or overfill two Trucks here in less than five minutes. It's got to be less Oh, 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 oh Gotta watch out for this gate. Whew. Whew, you definitely don't want to mess up with this uh, big uh, hopper of a grain cart. Get in trouble quick. Oh my goodness. 
I got into her. We are harvesting 16 rows at a time at 8 mile an hour. This case harvester is impressive. Wow, are we flying. The grain is just pouring in there like we're unloading into a grain cart. This is impressive. I'm so happy. I will help this farmer out anytime. That poor John Deere is trying to keep up with the best of it. Just can't keep up. But uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you next time over here in uh, an hour. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Farm boy, man, I think I just heard the dinner's ready. Look, everyone magically just appeared down here at the end of the field. I wonder why. I think it's mostly because it's a logistical nightmare and all the trucks are full or at waiting at the elevator. This is, this is nuts. Yeah, we, we backed up the elevator big time. Yeah, look at these crazy guys here. This is John Deere's dumping into the case, which dumping into the grain cart. Uh, uh. Hey, you they gave me the mic to give you an interview, man. What? This, this <laughs> is a little crazy. All right, uh, hey, let's so, go live. Let's go live. Right, cool. Go live right, right now. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're over here at uh, Farmer Henry's, and we got a giant microwave over here. It is a uh, S980. That thing will cook you some toast and some waffles. And we got a green one over there, and we got a heads. You would not believe we got 180 rolls of head running in this field. We just finished about just under a thousand acres of corn, and we got a logistical nightmare right here. We got trucks upon trucks, on grain carts, on other harvesters, maxed out right here on the edge of the field. What do you have to say, farm boy? You put that thing a toaster? <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a giant. Uh, maybe I, it's just because it's a giant all the, barn on on wheels. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just because all the wives. I I, I think I heard. I think I heard. Uh, food's ready. Let's let's end this. Cut. Cut.